Welcome back. Well, it's going to be a milder forecast as we move forward. We're flashing back to the 70s for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Groovy baby, but it does come with some rain on the way as well. So let's take a look at our arch nemesis in an El Nino winter, the old subtropical jet stream. And it's a cloudy and wet jet at that. This is the same part of the same atmospheric river that uh, contributed to California's terrible weather. The upper low still creating havoc across the southwest and all that high cloud cover heading this way. And we'll get a taste of it tomorrow. It thickens up and we don't see much sun Thursday, Friday, and then through the entire weekend. Eventually the sun comes back out on Monday, but if we track the subtropical jet, it gets closer to us as we head into the weekend and we're going to see disturbances riding along that jet stream. That's why we're going for a few scattered showers for Thursday, few for Friday, better coverage into Saturday and then Sunday as the jet get closer to us. Uh, we'll see um, maybe more widespread rainfall as we head into Sunday, especially Sunday evening, Sunday night, maybe carrying into Monday before all begins to move off to the east and we see a more zonal flow that's west to east rather than a southwesterly orientation, which almost gives us clouds all the time in the winter. We called for a cool and wet winter based on this El Nino pattern and boy has it delivered Thank you to the subtropical jet stream as well. So here we go. It's winter in the west uh, from the high plains through the Rockies and the southwest. Still expecting big snows all the way down into the high mountains of Southern California. A foot or two more expected. Uh, more winter storm warnings as you go farther to the east over toward the Grand Canyon Flagstaff and then through Payson, Arizona. And then at lower elevations, it's flash flood watches and warnings. Flash flood watches for Arizona. So you know this is a pretty beefy system and parts of it, not all of it gets here as we head into the latter part of the weekend. So that's why we're going for pretty high rain chances come Sunday into Monday. Meanwhile, locally, just some high level cirrus clouds beginning to move in. That may interrupt some of the cooling tonight, so we'll call for low to mid 40s overall. That's where the models have us through tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow it's going to be a partly sunny day. Temperatures will be topping out uh, generally in the uh, we'll say the lower 70s in spite of southeasterly winds coming out of the Gulf of Mexico cooling us off. So uh, today we got up to 71 tomorrow, maybe just closer to 70 because again, the shelf water temperatures right along the Louisiana coast are in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Few spotty showers as we head into Thursday with cloud cover lower 70s and we'll do it all over again going into Friday. A few little streamer showers across the area. I don't think anything that's going to ruin the parade come the Friday night parade, but there is some precip on the map for that time. As we move into Saturday activity, more scattered and a little bit more widespread in nature and we'll be looking at breezy southerly winds temperatures in the mid 70s then it's a Saturday evening maybe a few lingering showers for Bonaparte going into Super Bowl Sunday pre-dawn hours uh, showers and storms on the way and it looks like maybe more widespread activity on Sunday models are still having a hard time resolving if everything comes through on Sunday and Sunday night or doesn't end until Monday and then either way it's going to clear out as we head into Mardi Gras morning here we are at 7 a.m. Look at the temperature, lower 40s, wind chills in the 30s because we're going to have gusty wind, so it's going to be a breezy and chilly Mardi Gras, but at least it looks dry, and that is the good news with sunshine for next Tuesday afternoon. Rainfall totals, well, the uh, Euro is the wetter of the two models, one to two inches locally, more as you go farther to the north, a big soaking there, and the GFS a little bit faster and uh, not as wet, but uh, the call this winter has been go with the wetter model. It's it's going to be closer, so we'll say one to two for now. Overnight tonight, upper 30s to lower 40s across uh, northern portions of Acadiana, low to mid 40s as we get farther to the south. And then tomorrow, nice day. Temperatures top out in the lower 70s for your high. Tomorrow night, we hold in the 50s, and then it's the 60s at night moving into the weekend. So 44, the chilly low tonight. Enjoy the crisp air and not needing the air conditioner because you might have to use it a little bit for the humidity as we get into the weekend. 71 the high tomorrow, almost spring-like day with a mixture of high clouds and sun. And as we move forward, look at this, 77 on Friday, 76 Saturday. Rain chances scattered Saturday, widespread later Sunday into Sunday night, hopefully ending by midday Monday and a chilly Mardi Gras to follow with temperatures holding in the 50s for highs. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up right after the break.